Hello everyone. Sorry, is it back again? Just kind of a bit of a survival tip on getting diamonds. Have a look in here. As you can see, I have three stacks of diamonds, 64, I have a 13 lot there. I have four blocks of diamonds, plenty of gold, which I had to replace, plenty of iron I'm working on getting back again. Basically, I used up most of my material building a fully functional vegan, which was the biggest waste of material I ever did, but to complete the game, as have everything in the game, I had to make it. So then I had to go get my resources back again. And basically, you can see a lot of materials there, diamond swords, these are all fortune tree and silk touch pickaxes I've made. I've made loads, I don't know what number, but loads. So I'm going to head down to the mine. I'm going to get an achievement at the end of this game to show that this is legit survival. That I've never gone in creative, because if I'd gone in creative, I would not be able to get uh, achievements, because they would be knocked off. I don't use house options for flying, teleporting, everything I build, I stack up. Everything is there legit. I don't duplicate glitch, because that's just flying cheating. You're just fooling yourself, because you might as well be in creative. I'm going to head down here, and hopefully there's nothing waiting for me. Really there, I'm going to take that jump, see if anything's around to surprise me. Now this is when I started off mining. This is how I used to do, I didn't know any better, I just dug and dug and dug looking for diamonds. But now I have a, a little system, get what the people have done it, but I just... I do kind of in a similar way, but probably explain that perks... Basically vine, your vein mine. You see, you, you, mine, you mine all the way down. Let's go on here. Until you're stopped. Now, you could be enforcing it when you start this. You could be in the middle of a lava pool, and no matter where you go, you're going to get this. But basically, what I do is I'll dig down. I'll have a little far gap. So that means I'm going to be got there like that. That means basically, if I mine there, and there's a diamond there, I'll get it. But I don't have to mine this one, because I'm already going to be looking at that from the far side. So I'll go on to the next one, and carry on. You're going to gain a lot of experience doing this as well. Again, some of them stop short, some of them stop long. You will spend time mining them, but you will get a lot of materials while doing it as well. Was that a creeper sneaking up behind me? I thought I actually had this better organised, lit up, where it was. Check and see if there's anybody else sneak snuck into me. What about I'd say it was a creeper. Okay, oh look at this. I hate that when I hit that button. I think I'm gonna have to light this place up a little bit better. They are spawning big time. Okay, I'm half dead, so I'm gonna get some carrots into me first. I don't wanna waste the achievement too early and in case something disastrous goes wrong. Okay, this is the spot I'm going to go. Make sure it's safe so I don't get another sly attack. I have an awful habit of clicking the crouch button when surprised by creepers, which doesn't really help yet. Again, as you can see, I'm not going to be able to see either side of this. Now, a lot of people think diamonds, oh yeah, diamonds. Diamonds don't last that long. One thing to remember. When you're mining like this, you have a huge amount of resources. All you need to say that. And there you have a cobblestone. And they work. You don't last as long. But once you have a good stack of sticks, you have a, you're more or less an infinite supply. And they do the same job, not as efficient. When you're starting off, don't worry about it. The most important thing to get with your diamonds is an enchantment table. So you can get a fortune tree pickaxe. And that makes your life in getting diamonds so much easier. And well, actually what it does is, it makes gold more rare than diamonds. The travel is a bit of a pain. Better start keeping this lid up, otherwise it'll have another sneak attack on me. I'm going to take that and put that there. And you're going to be finding plenty of uh, raw materials. Coal, iron. Lapis of zoo, redstone. When you're hitting the lapis of zoo, redstone, diamonds or coal, you're going to gain experience. 
Now there's answers to doing this. A lot of people use um, spawners for farming. Farming experience, I should say. Where all you're getting is, if it's a zombie spawner, all you're getting is raw flesh. And you're standing there hours waiting for the zombies to spawn again. Where this way you're gathering coal, you're gathering materials, you're gravel, gravel, grabbing coal stone, then you stick down the furnace, get stone, get bricks. So you're actually gaining materials by doing this this way. It's not exciting, but it works. Think about Minecraft, you do spend more time actually mining than what you ever will. I should say building. I'm going to keep walking on down here, we should hit diamonds. You can be unlucky at times. And sometimes you can be very lucky, you can hit three, lads. Alright, I've hit something there. I want to be careful. I do not want to hit those diamonds or anything but the fortune tree pickaxe. Now fortune tree, when you get a fortune tree, you might think yeah, each time you hit one you get three, it's random. Sometimes you can get a big drop, sometimes you get a little drop. <laughs> Let's go here, this far here. No diamonds on me. What did I get there? Oh, I got ten out of that far. Now sometimes you might only get five, but you'll always get more diamonds than what there is there. Now I'm starting off again. I do not want to waste that fortune tree pickaxe. All I ever, I'll keep that there. When I come across coal, lapis or diamonds, I will use it, and then I'll just go back to a normal. <coughs> In the worst case scenario, I'd use cobblestone rather than wasting the fortune tree pickaxe finding something that I'm not going to get three of. I just walk away, get rid of this cobblestone. Again, cobblestone works grand. You're starting off. Keep your diamonds. Get your experience, get your enchantment table, and get your fortune tree pickaxe when you're enchanted by getting your bookshelves. And then it makes getting diamonds so much easier. Now, well, like, normally you, I'd be hitting all sorts of material going this way. Iron, I'd be getting gold. Not huge amounts, but I would be gaining a lot of other materials while mining this way. You'd be also gaining coal as you're going, so you'd be able to make torches should you run out. You're going to be gaining experience. Again, we're going to save that park shop for the end to show, get an achievement to show it's legit survival. It's legit old survival world prior to the introduction of the jungle biome. Okay, you see, cobblestone's working quite well. You can make an infinite resource, but the only thing is they don't last as long and they take up space in your inventory. Torch in here. I'll get a torch behind me just in case. Yeah, I'll get back to the pickaxe. But I don't mind using these now because I'm going to make more diamonds than what I'm putting into using this diamond pickaxe. It's just a standard diamond pickaxe. I don't enchant it. If I'm going to enchant a diamond pickaxe, it's either silk touch or a fortune tree or enchant armor. I'm going to get this iron here. So again, I've got a little profit here of iron. That's a few words got there. I'm not going to bother change, I'm just going to keep in mind with this. Well, it's a bit of a nuisance, but you just get, you go through it. So as we're going on, so far I've got 10 diamonds on this trip. I don't know how long this video is so far. You can always fast forward rather than watching me just mine, because this part of the Minecraft can be quite boring. I'm surprised I haven't hit a lot of coal yet. Again, I'm saving me park job for the end, just in case some disasters goes wrong with the video, and I don't want to waste achievements. Because <coughs> I only get them once. I want to make the most of it. A torch in here, yes. But again, sometimes you can be unlucky, you can get to a whole van. Now I'm getting a bit of... I'm not even... Redstone's quite handy, so I don't usually... I should say, 
rare. It's not that rare. So you usually get plenty of it. So I wouldn't use a fortune tree. In it. I keep my fortune tree for diamonds, coal, and lapis lazuli. As I say, you just keep the volume going down. Can be boring, but what I suggest is just put an hour into doing this today. Oh, I want surprises. An hour in a day, and then go off and do all the other stuff you want to do in your Minecraft. Again, from the five diamonds, I got ten. Sometimes you only get five, sometimes you get less, but you always get more than what you're putting in. When I say put in the, the diamond pickaxe you're using. Again, these don't last that long. A lot of people think diamonds last forever. Once you start mining big time, they disappear. like this and you keep it well let up behind you, you're not going to get snuck up by zombies or spiders or creepers, it's less likely. Now the reason I'm keeping the video running like this, I want to show, yeah, I'm doing this, I'm doing it in survival, and this is, I'm, this is what exactly is involved in getting diamonds. So you can always fast forward these little bits. So most of Minecraft can be boring when you're new on this, but at the end of the day when you have the materials to start building, it's, it's water. If you want to play pure survival, this is more or less what you have to do. Unless you want to cheat and good duplicate glitch, but I don't do and I don't think it's something anybody should be doing in the game. Let's go again. Again, you will be gaining experience as soon as you hit. I'm just amazed I haven't hit a decent coal, coal van. Always keeping the lid up. Oh, as I say, it's about 10 diamonds, which is quite a lot of tree pickaxes. And a shovel, I suppose. Best way to put it there. Again, yeah, no, if there's anything on the bottom I'll find it, anything on the top I'll find it. On both sides. Normally you would find a couple of a bit of gold, a lot more iron, a lot more coal. But as Minecraft is kind of random, stuff is laid randomly out. If you're using efficiency 5, sometimes it can create problems. Ah, more diamonds. Where you can be, you can go so fast that you hit a diamond with uh, your efficiency pickaxe and you're only going to get one. I'm going to load up here. I don't want any sneakies. I'm gonna I don't know whether it makes a difference, but when I'm hitting the diamonds, I try to Hit them all in one go. Not a stone and then a diamond because I get a impression I might only get one diamond. Hit a stone, then I only get another one diamond. Now again, it's pure random what you get. Just because you have fortune tree, it does not mean you're going to get fortune tree. Yeah, this could be a good one, I'd say. Right out of there. Now 
Looking good. Now I'm going to get me 43 pickaxe. Yeah, on your 14 tree pickaxe, it is random. You could get three, you could get two. Well, let's see how it's on here. 27 diamonds doing one line. It's not bad. Sometimes you can be unfortunate, but majority of the time you will hit diamonds, you will hit a lot more gold and a lot more coal and other materials. So I'm going to go down to the end. Will I? I'm going to go off somewhere else here. I know where there's. I'm going to mine into another side here, which I know that there was coal in, because before I exited the game previously without saving, there was a bunch of coal. Just to show you the other aspect of mining, it's while you're getting material, you're also going to gain experience. Now this is how far I've gone down to get the diamonds. So there, there's no real quick fix to getting loads and loads of diamonds very quickly. You do have to put the time in, but this seems to be the most efficient way. No more sneakies waiting for me. Oh, here we go here. Okay, so we're hitting coal here. What have we got? Okay, now all those experience I have. 18 experience. That's from mine. So if you choice, you can still have a spawner mining, or, or, or I should say farming, and getting rotten flesh out of zombies. You could be lucky and have a skeleton and get bones, or spider webs. Or you could go mining, and get a uh, cobblestone, which you could turn into stone. You get plenty of coal. Right, this should be a good one. I'm gonna, this is all I use the forest and tree for. Only, I just use it for coal, diamonds, lapis lazuli. Now, with no coal on me. Point in. Oh, look, hitting a bit of a hit here. Bit of iron. It's a good vein I'm hitting here. Oh, I should have used the other pickaxe for the iron, but. Now we're just going to fill that bit in there. Put a torch down. Let's see where I'm at getting out of that. So I've got 27 diamonds. I've just got 39 coal. I've got 13 iron. And I've also got cobblestone as well. So basically you're going to be using the coal, putting the cobblestone into stone to make bricks. Oh, very protective. I've also got 21 uh, redstone. Now, most of the time you will get a lot more coal. You probably you will get a few gold. Probably a bit more iron. What's the better way to spend your uh, money? If you're going to farm, get your experience, get your uh, <laughs> materials as well at the same time. Put an hour in a day. That's all you have to do. And as I promised at the end of the video, before I end now, I'm going to get an achievement. As you've seen, there was 27 diamonds. Got all legit survival. Well, let's eat my chop and see what happens. Achievement unlocked. Hog chop. One of the new achievements they've introduced to show that this is a legit survival world. Never been creative, no host options used. And so from Uzi, I'll have a look at my 27 diamonds. And the best of luck, take care.